Hi guys, I'm Blair from GoodSignal.com. Today's landing page review is um, a little bit of a mixture of some really good points um, and also one point which I think is uh, is a negative. Um, you may disagree, um, but I'll try and explain to you um, why I think it's uh, probably letting this landing page down a little bit. It'll be really interesting to test this page uh, on an A-B test to see um, how it performs with and without this particular um, issue. So uh, for a start then, when you come to the site, um, the thing that strikes me is it's really um, well designed, it's well branded, um, and it uses uh, uses color really well. So the black and the blue uh, contrast um, yeah, obviously really nicely, but everything is really well laid out. So the navigation is, is really clean and clear. The sign and register features are, are where you'd expect, and once again, they're not cluttered with anything else. That's really good. There's this title here, which um, tells people why they're on the site. Um, there's a little bit of added persuasion here um, to take action. You know, you're going to get 33% more cash, millions paid out, and there's even another piece of functionality over the side over here, um, which which you know tells you you can use your webcam as a barcode scanner. Um, so I quite like that. Looking a little di uh, looking a little more closely, however, there are some things which are even cooler. So obviously this barcode feature is uh, you know, it's a secondary conversion metric. They, they don't actually want people necessarily um, to go in straight away with the barcode. Um, they're probably assuming that people are going to um, you know, take the barcode off manually because not everyone has a webcam. So this is the more likely conversion tool that uh, people are going to use. So in terms of prominence on the page, you can see that the main conversion tool is bigger and positioned more prominently than the secondary conversion tool, which does a, does the same thing for people with more technology. So in terms of informa information architecture and hierarchy, that's really well um, designed and, and organized. So that's cool. Um, also, in terms of the color, you can see that the main conversion um, facility is uh, is well contrasted at center of the screen. Um, and I've just clicked away from it, so um, yeah, that was flashing. The cursor was flashing in the center of the screen, right in the middle of the eye line uh, when you arrive. And the biggest button on the page is the one that says "Get Value." So, yeah, that's really cool. Notice with the rollover as well, positive feedback. So these guys have got this absolutely nailed. So for so many reasons, um, it's it's really working for me. But now that you've been looking at the page for a while, can you see the thing that I don't think is so good on this page? Take a look at this title at the top here. We'll just have to wait for it to do its thing now. See how the word cash just changed from a cash to a pound sign? Oh, now it's got some, some words that are changing color and highlighting over here. Now, if you just look at this page for a while, that movement is distracting. If you look elsewhere on the page, if I just scroll down, yeah, whilst all of that's going on, we've got a truck here that's moving. And then wait for it. It's going to go back the other way in a second. Here we go. And it's dropping some boxes off. That adds nothing to the informational value of this page other than distract the user away from their key task, which is going to be coming up here and putting their barcode in. Also, look on the right-hand side of this page. Watch this little barcode here. Once again, that does nothing. It's moving, so it's attracting attention. It doesn't add any informational value, and I can't even click on it. So it's not even though it's something. That, it's not even like it's something that's moving that I can actually take action with as well. So on this page overall, there's this little thing up here which is moving. There's a truck which is moving, and there's a barcode which is moving. N you know, none of those things actually add any value or enhance the conversion. Um, rate of this particular page. They're a distraction. I don't need the heading to move and change to, uh, to, to understand it any better. And, you know, I, I don't know what these things are down here and they're just distracting me. By comparison, when I first looked at this page, the only thing that was actually moving was the cursor flashing inside the key conversion facility. And that's really cool. Um, the only thing that was animated, which attracts attention, was a thing that I need to use to actually go through the next, to the next stage in the funnel. So overall then, I think the site's um, branded really well, good use of information architecture, great use of color and contrast, positioning, affordance, all of these really um, you know, staple things are, are really well designed and presented in the site. But be careful about animation. It attracts attention and it makes and it distracts people away from their key conversion task, which uh, unless it's something that you actually want them to click on and take action on, then just leave it alone, leave it static. Uh, so this was a good signal. For the full review, hop across to goodsignal.com.